across America, we see music programs being affected by budget cuts, or they're just being cut out of schools entirely. In January of 2001, the U.S. Department of Education, in collaboration with George Bush, enacted the No Child Left Behind Act. The No Child Left Behind Act is great. It focuses on core curriculum, on math, English, science, history, except music isn't one of these core curriculums. And music education is seeing the butt end of its deal. Music programs should not be subject to budget cuts, and they should not be cut from schools. First, I'm, just, I'm going to discuss with you why they're being cut. The first and most important reason is the money. There's just not enough money to give to the music program with all these other things that we got going on. From a budget report that I received from one of the, punk, one of the uh, local school districts that I'm not allowed to disclose because the person could get fired for giving me this information, in their budget report, the athletic department received $15,000 for their budgeting. The music program for that same high school received a mere $3,000. This is a school with one of the most successful music programs in the Valley. This, this school, they travel twice, they travel once every two years across the, across the world, and they tour. Now, I just hate to see what the budgeting is for one of the other schools that doesn't have such a successful music program. The reason why we see this is because music is just not in the money flow chart. What happens is the government gives each state money, each state gives each district money, and each district has a minimum amount of money that they're supposed to give to our core curriculums, math, English, science, history, as well as physical education. Now, physical education isn't part of the core curriculum. Well, let's face it, they're not going to cut PE before they cut music because there's a war on obesity, but we can see how well that turned out. <laughs> now, after the district disperses their money to their different departments, then they try to assess how much it costs to run a music program. And I can assure you it costs well over $3,000. The other reason why we see music programs being cut is because it seems a non-essential. Music isn't needed in society. They say that English, math, science, and history, they aid us in understanding what happens around the world. And then, reported by the U.S. Census Bureau in 2008, there were 18 million projected students to go to colleges or university. And of that 18 million, less than 9% are majoring in visual or performing arts. Secondly, I want to talk to you guys about the cause and effects that our music programs have on our children. The first, the first uh, effect that music has is it makes our kids smarter. I mean, we all know it. And it's, pro it's proven. The Harris Interactive Poll of High School Principals in 2006 reported that schools with music programs had a significantly higher graduation rate than schools without music programs. The schools with music programs had on average 90% of their students graduate. The schools without music programs had on average 73% of their students graduate. Also, according to the College Board in 2006, students that were involved with their music programs in their school scored higher than those students that weren't involved with the music program. On average, a student in a music program scored 57 points higher on their verbal section and 43 points higher in their math section than the students that weren't involved with music. Also, the cause and effect is we see the importance that music plays. Now, I'm going to play a short clip from one of our high schools here, and it's going to feature three students and a teacher that are all involved with the music program and they're going to share with you how they feel about music and how they feel about the music program.
and that's why it gives them something, something like a breath of fresh air and to enrich It's pretty powerful, huh? Now, finally, I want to cover some of the solutions that we can all do to help keep our music programs alive. The first and easiest thing you could do is simply to attend a concert. There are tons of high schools in the valley, and they all have music programs. And all those music programs put on concerts that you can attend for free. And just showing your support, just giving a little bit of your life to go watch these students perform, trust me, it means all the world to them. And if you don't, and if you want, uh, I know for a fact Palm Springs High School and Cathedral City High School have websites devoted solely to their bands, and you can go and you can find their performing schedule, you can find when a concert is, and then you can go. And I'm sure all the other high schools, you can just simply go to their high school website, call a number, and just ask a question. And if you don't want to go through the trouble, you can ask me after class, and I'll be more than happy to personally look up a concert that you can attend at a high school. And if you don't want to do any of that, you can come here at COD. We have tons of concerts that go on here at COD. And the way you can find out when concerts are going on here at the Paula Theater is simply going on the COD website and on the news center they always have posted when there's concerts. Or you can ask me, or you can even ask Ernie, and we'd be more than happy to tell you when we have a concert coming up. The second thing you can do to help keep music alive is support a music foundation. I'm sure we've all heard of the VH1 Save the Music, right? Well that's a very important foundation that's founded to help keep music in schools. And what you can do is you can go to their website and you can donate money or you can find other ways that you can support local schools or schools around the nation. Another thing you can do to help support is just donate to one of your local high schools. Each high school I'm sure is more than willing to accept any money from anyone because I'm sure they need it. And the last thing you can do is you can pay for my college education because I'm going to be a music teacher and that's a great way to support the music program that I'm going to be working at. So I mean, that's just an idea. <laughs> now, as a review, I'm going to cover everything that we talked about today. First, we talked about why music, music programs are being cut. We know that there's the money issue. The money's not coming, so the money doesn't get given to the music programs. And the music scene is an unessential. Music's not really seen as a society-fitting profession, I guess you could say. And then we focused on the cause and effect that music programs can have on our children. As we saw that music can make children more school worthy, because they can get higher scores, they graduate. And we also saw this touching video of these children devoting their heart to music. And then we talked about the solutions that we can all do. Simply attend a concert, or you can support a music foundation, or you can pay for my college education. I want to thank you guys for your time, and I hope you guys strive to help the music programs around the valley as much as I wish you would help. Thank you very much.